Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a short video sharing about how to add volume and length to fine thin hair using seamless clip-in extensions. I have a few clip-in extension videos, but just wanted to do a bit of an updated video. So I have these seamless clip-in extensions, which I personally prefer seamless clip-in extensions to the traditional wefts because seamless clip-in extensions have this PU weft right here, which is very flexible, very, very thin, making it really great for fine thin hair because it kind of lays flat against the head. You don't have to worry about it feeling too bulky. You still get the same amount of hair but the weft itself is so much more friendly for fine thin hair in my opinion so this is my go-to type of clip and extensions for fine thin hair and I don't use I bought this set a while ago and it was a little bit too yellow so I went ahead and actually toned it blow dried it well I didn't tone it I used a purple shampoo mask to kind of lighten it up make it a little bit more white to match my hair and you'd be surprised even though this has a bit of a rooted look compared to my hair the thing with blonde extensions, if they are like balayage or highlighted, they kind of morph into your own hair. Sometimes if the blonde is like completely off, like if you have yellow and then white, then you'll be able to notice it. But if the blonde itself matches your hair color, then and, and it has highlights, it kind of morphs into your own hair. But I wore these on Mother's Day and I really liked how they looked. After I washed them, I did kind of take, um, you know, like those face shavers and I kind of trimmed them up a bit because they were a lot longer and I felt like they were a little bit too stringy on the ends. I wanted a little bit them a little bit shorter. And clip-in extensions usually last a lot longer than other methods because you're not constantly washing them as often as you wash your own hair. And as I mentioned in the, in the beginning of the video, they are temporary, so you only wear them for a period of time. You don't sleep in them, you don't wash your hair with them. You clip them in for an event, like church, whatever it is you're going to, and then by the end of the day, you take them out and you can scratch your head, you get to wash your hair. The only downside is that some people find they may be a little bit uncomfortable. For me personally, I've gotten used to it so they don't bother me. If you have a very sensitive scalp, then they might bother you, but then at that point, I feel like a lot of extension methods might bother you. And then also, because they're temporary, you have to make the effort to apply them into your hair. And if you have fine thin hair like I do, then you have to be careful with clip-in extensions or any extensions in general because you don't want the weight distribution to be off. You don't want them to be hanging on like five strands of hair and tugging on it all day long. But for the most part, they're a great way to add some temporary volume to your hair. So I have four pieces that I use for my fine thin hair that I can actually get away with and make it look pretty natural. I have the three piece clip that I use all the way at the nape of the neck and I'll show you guys how I apply it. Then I have the four piece clip that I'll apply above that and then I use these two piece clips and I'll apply them on the side because I feel like here on the side is where I have the least amount of volume and you want a clip and extension there to help everything blend in and my hair is blunt and short so it's a little bit harder to blend in blunt short hair but if you place them properly you should be able to blend them in no problem so just these four pieces i'm able to get the amount of volume make it look natural and i really like the outcome the other pieces i actually ended up cutting up i have there's like one piece clips i cut those to my natural hair length at one point and i use them just for a little bit of volume i'll try to link that video here but i would use those kind of like on the sides here for temporary volume throughout the day to add to my own natural hair without adding length so there's just so many different things that you can do with clip and extensions amazon has a ton they're very affordable these are from loxy here but there are so many other brands that carry uh, PU clip and extensions just look up seamless clip and extensions and you should be okay with the quality because again you're not washing them constantly so they should last you a lot longer than other types of extensions but now for application what I personally like to do is I'll start at the tops of my ears here let me zoom in a bit I'll take my fingers and you don't have to worry about the line being too straight but I kind of like drag my fingers until they meet all the way in the back so I'll start here and then drag my fingers until they meet and pick that section up so this is kind of all that I'm left with and I don't like to leave too much hair especially if your hair is shorter because I feel like this right here this piece right here especially if it doesn't match the extensions it will kind of be a dead giveaway that you have um, extensions in your hair so some people what they like to do is they grab like a little elastic they'll braid it kind of like out of sight out of mind I personally leave it and it usually blends right in if you get the right color match try not to leave too too much hair but at the same time you don't want too little where the extensions the clips don't really have much to hold on to so pin up the rest of that hair and then grab a teaser comb of sorts because you're going to be teasing the hair in order for the clips to have something to hold on to you're going to tease the sections of your hair where the clips are going to be so i'm going to tease this part the middle part and then where the other clip is going to go 
and I feel like this is you can also use a volumizing powder I have one from Boldify and that one adds a ton of grit to the hair so you don't want your clip-in extensions sliding out pulling down on your hair you want them to be pretty secure now I'm gonna open up the clips and I'm literally just gonna pop them in like so literally gonna slide them in slide them down and then close them so let's start with this one here slide it in close it I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing slide it in close it actually I feel like this one's a little bit too close let me pull it apart you don't want the weft to have too much room here you want it to be pretty spread out across your scalp and then just make sure it is nice and secure and make sure there, are, there aren't too many gaps make sure that the weft is not clipped in like this but it's spread out across your scalp across your head and then when I brush my clip-ins out I like to hold on to the seamless weft right here and then brush it out because otherwise you can tug it out and then tug the clips so just make sure that you're kind of holding on to the clips as you brush it out and then the next row I'm gonna place a lot higher up probably right here because my hair is shorter and it's more of a blunt cut you want it to blend so if you place it lower you're gonna have a lot more of your own hair covering the extensions whereas if you place it higher you have less of your own hair covering the extensions and it kind of blends a little bit better I hope that makes sense but so for this section I kind of like to start around probably the tops of the eyebrows and go all the way around same thing and I will say I like to apply extensions on fresh hair I just washed my hair last night if my hair is too greasy it starts to kind of like strand together and when it does that it's not as soft it's not as fluffy and the hair on top kind of starts to separate you're able to see the clips more so I would definitely recommend starting with using clip and extensions with fresh hair if you have uh, fine thin hair like I do and then go ahead and try to figure out where you're gonna be teasing so I'm gonna be teasing a little here here and then back there a little bit so go ahead and back comb that hair brush the extension piece out open up the clips and then clip them right in. It's actually easier starting in the middle. Here's what it looks like with just those two pieces there. So the back is fine in my opinion, but it's the sides right here that are a dead giveaway because there's literally like no volume on the sides. You could get away with just two clips if you were to do a ponytail and you wanted to do something like this. But because I'm gonna be wearing my hair down, I do need to apply two more pieces on the side. And I did cut these kind of at an angle so these kind of slant downwards to kind of match my natural haircut here. And these I'm going to place a little bit higher up than the others. So I'm probably going to start about, about halfway, half of my forehead. Try to get a clean part if you can. And I'm going to place it above the ear because this is where I need the most volume. So I'm going to go ahead and back home right above the ear. You also want to make sure that your clip is not going to interfere with the row that you did before this. So you want to have at least some hair covering the other rows. Grab my hair extensions and just clip them in. You see how these lay flat against the head? So it's very easy for fine thin hair to be able to conceal a weft like that versus if you had a bulkier weft. Just that one piece on the side makes such a big difference compared to if you were to not add anything at all. And voila, you are all done. Because my hair is short, I don't really have to curl my own hair and the hair extensions stay curled for forever. Mine were in a box so they kind of got a little bit funky but do you see how well these blended in even though initially it looked like the color was a little bit off so let me go ahead and touch it up a bit i have this curling iron here i'm just kind of kind of curl a few pieces to make sure it matches and blends nicely i don't usually use clip and extensions unless it's like for church sometimes for a wedding, for an event, for a photo shoot, for a video. I don't wear them every single day, just being honest, but they are nice to have for certain occasions. I mean, if you wanna wear them every day, you probably could. I would just say be careful because if you're constantly having like that tension pulling on your hair, especially if you have fragile fine thin hair, I wouldn't say it's the best, but sometimes you just want a lot of hair. <laughs> and clip and extensions are a great temporary way to achieve that because you could take them out literally 
whenever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and brush this out. You can use a little bit of hairspray if you wanted to to make sure everything is nice and secure, but this is the end result. Super easy hair transformation using clip and extensions and PU seamless clip and extensions are my absolute favorite so I just wanted to share once again for those of you that want temporary you don't want to commit to more permanent semi-permanent type extensions which I might be doing my own tapings very soon but before I did that I wanted to share about a more temporary option for those of you that are interested so let me show you guys what the extensions look like from the back as well I love how they look. Let me know what you guys think. I will link these down below as well as the color and the length. But keep in mind, I did use a purple shampoo mask and then I also cut them. So they were a little bit more yellow when I first got them and then a little bit longer as well. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in future videos.